Where am I? What's happening? I'm trapped in a storm? How did I get here? And where is here? Wait, there's the lighthouse. I'll be safe if I can make it there. I hope. Please let me make it there. So surreal. Famously called film, little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay, if I'm in class. Everything's story. cool. I am okay. From light to shadow, from color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in I black and white? I didn't fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally I can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st She's century. Tortured, right? But I like it old school. Frankly, it's bullshit. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any. I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. In a moment of desperation, and any one of you could do that to me. Isn't that too easy? Too obvious. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie, a dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition, and Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please Tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits. You're asking me? L let me think. Um... You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. <laughs> Sad face. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The <laughs> Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by... Sorry, Robert Max. Davis. No more selfies right now. You can find out all about them. In your textbook. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? Online. I can hear. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me.
Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. Even if you're submitting your photo for the competition, everybody in class is turning in a photo, so you see the dilemma? I know, Mr. Jefferson. I just worked so hard on the shot, and I'm sure you know what it's like to be consumed by your... by your work. I just really think everyday heroes... Hi, Kate. Oh. Event. Hi, Max. You have just by participating. By putting yourself out there... You seem quiet today. No, no, just too thinking much. too much. This is just a bump on a bigger road. I don't want anybody to feel excluded. I hear that. Want to go to grab a cup of tea and world. bitch about life? Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. No worries. Let's hang later. Sure. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. That printer is amazing. I'd love to see how it reproduces my pictures. I love seeing Mr. Jefferson's awesome photos on these magazine covers. That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Whoa, Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. He probably paid 20 grand for that camera. I bet he gets pristine digital images. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. Just you Welcome always to the cute. real world. Just cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special one. Exciting slide. Really cute. I need a serious timeout in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class, it's so fucking boring.